Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily filter a table in Excel. Um, so you can see I've got this information here about the governors of Ohio, uh, and I want to be able to drill down into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, I'm going to select column A, I'm going to drag across, select all of my columns here, then on my home menu, I'm going to come up here to sort and filter. And I'm going to select this filter option from this menu. There we go. You can see that gave me these little pop-up menus. I can select on each column now. Resize these. There we go. Um, so let's say I want to just look at the Federalists and the Whigs. I can come up here to this politics column. I can click on the little menu it gives me. Uh, and then I can unselect all. I'm just going to select the Federalists and the wigs and tell it OK. There we go. Uh, now let's say instead I want to see the Democrats. And you can, by the way, you can see this is filtered uh, because it's got this little filter icon on top of the column. So I'm going to select that menu again. I'm going to unselect the Federalists and the wigs. I'm going to select Democrats. There we go. Now let's say I want to see just the Democrats who are in Cuyahoga County. Well, this filter is still on. I'm going to come over here to the county button. I'm going to bring up this menu. I'm going to unselect all again. And I'm just going to select Cuyahoga. There we go. So there we just have Democrats from Cuyahoga County. You can see I've got it filtered and filtered. Um, let's say instead I want to add Republicans back in. Okay, well, with this filter is still on. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select Republicans. There we go. And then finally, let's say, so let's add everyone back in. Let's add everyone back in, all the counties. Okay, so you can see we've got all our filters off here. None of these are filtered right now. Let's say I want to just see those since 1900. I can come over here to the term end year. And this time I'm going to select number filters. And I'm going to say greater than. 1900. Tell it OK. There we go. So there's a lot more you can do here, especially with these number filters, but that uh, that's a good start. It gives you something to play around with. So hopefully that was helpful and hopefully you learned something.